Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Biden is squandering his last power. In order to set up obstacles for the incoming Trump, he can be said to have spared no effort. The new regulations against Chinese companies announced during this period are simply more than in the past few years. After blacklisting 140 Chinese companies, airtight AI chip controls have been implemented. And these still did not satisfy the appetite of the Biden team. On the 15th of this month, they issued two new regulations. One is to continue to shrink the restrictions on mainland semiconductors and will also investigate all foundries to avoid the transfer of advanced processes to restricted entities. The second is to officially announce the addition of 25 Chinese companies and two Singaporean companies to the entity list. And the intention of such new regulations against Chinese companies is quite obvious. This time, China will naturally not compromise. It responded only on the second day of the announcement of the new regulations. The US move is wrong. Chip subsidies have long disrupted the industry order, and unfair competition has led to low prices for mature process chips exported by US companies to China, which has seriously damaged the interests of Chinese companies. China will launch a corresponding investigation in the future. After verification, the mainland will no longer accept low-priced chips from US companies. Many people may think that it is a good thing to be able to buy low-priced chips from American companies. But in fact, there is a big trap here. This is also a trick used by European and American countries. After China's technological breakthroughs, they will sell at a low price the higher-level technology, thereby undermining China's self-confidence in manufacturing and making domestic companies develop the mindset of it is better to buy than to make, and it is better to rent than to buy. Before the 21st century, China lagged behind Western countries in every aspect. It was because of this kind of thinking that the people were overly superstitious about imports, which directly led to the inability of China's manufacturing industry to develop effectively. Fortunately, Huawei's 5G counterattack has rekindled the confidence of the Chinese people and Chinese companies in Made in China and the US's pursuit and interception behind the scenes has become a booster. Now China's technology has blossomed. China's countermeasures have also played a big role. The United States cannot digest the Trump card of rare earth alone. If the United States does not leave enough room for development for Chinese companies, then don't blame China for being rude. At that time, the market share of American companies in China cannot be guaranteed. Micron and Nvidia are good examples. NVIDIA also tried hard to seize the Chinese market. After the high-end H100 and A100 chips were banned from sale, it immediately launched the H800 chip 
with 20% performance cut. However, under the new round of sanctions, this chip was restricted from shipment again. However, in order to keep the Chinese market, it had to give up its reputation and launch the H20 chip with 80% performance cut. Even if Chinese companies did not pay much, the United States eventually banned shipments. Since China wants to make its own companies decline so much, it will naturally send them off without hesitation and directly launch an anti-monopoly review of NVIDIA. The subsequent outcome can be referred to Micron. After the return of the Kirin 9000S chip, Huawei's mobile phone business has fully returned. Qualcomm and Apple have long begun to tremble. China advocates fair and open cooperation, but it will never allow companies that harm the Chinese market to exist. Apple has always been complementary to the mainland market. Cook has repeatedly mentioned that it cannot do without the Chinese market, but unfortunately, it has quietly transferred its production capacity to the Indian market behind the scenes, which naturally consumes the remaining goodwill of the Chinese people towards Apple. Now Huawei's products have long replaced Apple, and even surpassed it in many technologies. Apple's practice of transferring production capacity has directly broken the balance between the two sides. Without allowing China to benefit, it naturally doesn't think about making a lot of money in the Chinese market. China still has many trump cards in its hands, and the pile of mess left by Biden must be something that Trump can't solve at all. The United States tried to curb China's chip industry, but faced the risk of technological blockade. China dominates the mid- and low-end chip market, and the U.S. relies on Chinese chips. The blockade strategy may backfire on itself. The chip competition between China and the U.S. is complex, and the U.S. needs to adjust its strategy and seek cooperation, otherwise the outcome will be unpredictable. What do you think about this?